Our first question today comes from Paul, and he says, in your list of recommended cards, you rarely mention United Mileage Plus Club card. You get club access and one and a half points. Even if you don't use the club privileges and charge more than 75,000 a year, the 37,500 extra points is well worth it. Okay, here's the deal. If you want United Lounge access, absolutely the United Club card can be a great option. Even if you walk into the branch, you can actually get the annual fee waived the first year in many instances, which is a no-brainer. You're going to forego a huge credit card sign-up bonus, but you know the 375 uh, annual fee might make sense. Now here's where it gets, I disagree with you that if you spend 75,000 a year, you're earning extra points. Well, it really depends on what you're spending on that 75,000. If none of that is in a bonus category like gas or travel, I could maybe agree with you that those bonus points could justify because it is better to earn 1.5 than it is uh, just a simple one mile per point or one point per dollar spent on other cards. But I would actually say use other cards in bonus categories um, to rack up more United miles. You know, the Chasing Bold gives 5x at office supply stores, and there you can even buy gift cards to other retailers um, and also buy a lot of products. So you can transfer those Chase Ultimate Reward points into United, so you can be earning more United miles. But in general, I do think it's a good card for those who value uh, United Club access and or would pay for it anyway if they couldn't get it complimentary through the card. So it is a good card, don't get me wrong. Always go into a branch to see if you can get the fee waived if you're interested, or always check united.com because they often put a lot of targeted promotions attached to your uh, account. Any other questions, tweet me at the points guy.